channels in this video we are going to learn about router like how to use router in our angular application so for example in this tutorials we are developing one angular applications here yeah, we can say one uh, student management system so those applications i am going to use this router concept so i hope it should be very clear and you understood very well okay so let us understood the problem what is the exactly problems we are facing right now for example this is our one of the angular project and uh, in this project having a two tabs one is add a student and second is list of students uh, this is the default whenever you start your application uh, you are redirecting to this page a list of a student page and uh, if you want to go to add a students you can go directly add a student here you can see add students having a some field here you can add the student data in database directly so i want like whenever i fill this data okay and once i submit or register this students i have to redirect in second terminals i mean i mean this page list of student page so how can i do this it's very simple you have to use the router without routers you can do but uh, it's a very difficult way but router is very important here if you want to redirect yeah if you want to go one page to another page then router is very very important okay so let's understood so i have given one id 6 i will give the students names like uh, jyoti jyoti and uh, email is jy at the rate uh, gmail.com phone number is nothing but anything you can give okay and once i try to register this jyoti i want to redirect list of a student page this is the scenario i have to develop okay so for this i am going to develop the router concept so right now if i click here it's saying a student data insert successfully and right now i am not redirecting to another page so for this we have to write the code in angular so that you can once a student is registered you have to redirect to the another page okay let's do it okay so for this you want something like uh, what is the page name first you know to understood what is the page name so our page is like this one a student register yes add a student page in this page whenever you submit this data all data is going to this page okay i hope you already understood so we are creating one a student object and we are calling to this one service so whatever service is there a student service add a students and we are passing this a student object to the api okay yeah, in Angular service class and then after the Angular service class with HTTP client we are passing the data to the server. Okay, so this is the concept we are doing. But now, uh, I hope you seen this data, a student data inserted successfully. Once a student is registered in database, so then after you want to redirect. Okay, so for this you have to write one methods uh, directly you can write also but better to prefer the method so it's a better way like uh, go to go to list of a student page this is the method i have developed i will call this method here how can i call this this dot this dot go to a student's list page that's it so i have created one method and right now this method is blank so i have to write logic inside this and uh, once we call this it's directly redirect to another page so if you want to implement this method go to the student list page you want one router so for router you have to declare those router I want those router object in this class yeah in this component so for this you have to write here comma private router 
of the router okay you can see here this is the router so you are able to get the object of router and through the object router you can call one method navigator a yeah, navigate so through this you can navigate one page to another page okay so go to this inside your methods and this dot router dot navigate navigate inside you have to write the path so navigate is a one of the method inside this methods you have to give one path and you can give those path like a, a square bracket inside the square bracket in single quote you can pass the page whatever page you are getting right now so see this page if you want to go this page to this page you have to pass this data okay a student slash a student you don't want to change the base url so just here you have to write students okay it will do work for you nothing else save this once you save this and you call you already called here so make sure one more things you have to make sure uh, go to the app routing component and here you can see the path a student whatever you give right now is there or not if it is not there it can't work so make sure you have to give here path like path a students component is a students list component path add a student component is create a student component so this is the router so you can create router like that in your angular application so router is nothing but it is a one of the technique to redirect one page to another page that is called router i hope you understood okay let's see our output so go to our uh, this page this is the by default page go to the add student page here you want to add some data so i given four i want to give some name so i will give ajay aj at the rate gmail.com and uh, whatever mobile number you have you can give and once you register this student it's saying okay a student data inserted successfully and uh, directly it will redirect to this list of a student page so this is the technique to redirect one page to another page with the help of router in angular i hope you understood so whenever you required like whenever you think like okay uh, once this thing is done then i have to go to this page then definitely you can take the help of the router that's it Thank you so much for watching my video. Bye.